Hello and welcome to Dead Space 3, the direct sequel to Dead Space 2, as once again I play as Isaac Clarke who continues to fight off the Necromorphs and the Unitologists as well as destroy the Marker. Now this is the third and perhaps the final chapter of the franchise and of course I call it personally the black sheep of the franchise as well because it focused more on action instead of horror and not to mention microtransaction as well as co-op you'll find out very soon when I play the game so yeah as you may not notice I'm there are, I've saved some progress in the second game so I have the plasma cutter from the second game that all that stuff like in the first game and all that so I can't speak now because I need to fix some adjustment just to check I'm doing this all over again am I and let me check something real quick subtitles on okay vibration co-op partner locator and this needs to be turned off connect because I don't use the connect that much and that's good for now so like I said I saved my progress from the sec the last game so we're gonna have to see the previous story from that so let's enjoy this and afterwards I'm gonna be playing as the hardest difficulty so let's get to it and before I begin, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. As well as my goal is to reach 100 subscribers, so please do that. That'll be extremely helpful. So with that said, let's begin. It all started 300 years ago with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. The details of the original black market disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and a unitology was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the Markers are divine. And their plan for us, a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Generations after the Black Marker disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Desperate, he sought to replicate the Black Marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records of this era are unclear. But we now know the replication was successful, but the cost too high. The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker, and with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. Isaac was captured and tortured by EarthGov, his mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Sprawl. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. There was nothing left but dust, just like Aegis 7. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clarke 
his marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them, stays in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. Well, that was interesting. Of course, they show that twice, even though I watched it before. This played it again. I had to skip that. And this is the government coming in our... I can't read it. Scar... Scaf. That's what it's pronounced, I think. And here is our title screen. So just like before, I'm not going to be talking during the cutscene, so I'll keep as silent as I can. And is that Isaac? Is it? No, that's somebody else. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Come on. Alpha Niner, this is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Kim! Oh, thank God! Did you find it? Find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just uh, follow the waypoint to thank you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there. Do, do you hear me? You have to get there. What? Oh, it's lost. What? Dang it! Alright, we're not Isaac Clark. We're somebody else. And right off the bat, we're in the snowy ice planet. Uh, I forgot what it's called. But I gotta say, they bring a lot of inspiration from John Carpenter, The Thing. That's nice. We're just gonna take our time just to explore around. And I see something shiny over there. Let me just walk right towards it. In this heavy winter breeze. Yeah, my common is a bit off. You can do this. Oh, he's dependent on you. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. Gun's not even loaded. Right. And we found another one of these things. So let's see what it says. Artifact. And I can't read it because it's all shaky. So, likewise, I'm just going to skip it and let you pause it to read it yourself. There is audio log, so... I'll listen to that instead. So this is basically taking place before the event of the first game or second. I'm not sure. I didn't pay attention to the year. I really love the fogging effect in this. John Carpenter would have been so proud of this. The director of the thing, just to be sure. Some of you don't know. And looks like the um, fog is already clearing. Or has it? Let me see. Yeah, just check. Oh. And this is the first prologue, beginning. Tau Volantis. That's what the planet is called. And 
looks like there's the ship that crashed. And this area is the research facility of this ice planet. Basically, this is going to take place in this planet throughout the game. Although, this will take place in a different location like space. Because it is dead space after all. Look at that mountain. Mount Krampus. I didn't know the Grinch lived in this planet. <laughs> and there's the ship. Hey Doc, I found it. Good. Can you get inside? It's all sealed up. Look around. There must be a way. And what ship is called? Is this called? The Mule. Alright. And once again, these boxes has been changed to a different look, looks and color. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. All right, let's see. Break, lock, latch, excuse me. Let's see what's inside this ship. How are you doing? Oh. And we have ourselves the new enemies. New necromorphs. These are called the fodders. They're basically... Let me just take care of these guys first and explain. Found a way in. Good. You're looking for a cylinder. About half a meter long. Do you see it? Alright, so these things are called fodder, a new common enemy. Another necromorph, but more human-like. They're able to use weapons just like any human being. And sorry for this guy for being dead. And more of these guys. They're basically not that hard. All you have to do is just shoot out the arms and... Yeah, actually, this is how you do with all the necromorphs. And I gotta hurry up. Outside. to a rocky start. I am playing in impossible after all. Not exactly what I wanted to see. Or hear. But this shows us how to the way through the way to climb. Let's just take our time to see if there's any health. No? Okay. So, like I said, this is actually co-op. If you choose to play by yourself or not, you have somebody to um, press it for you or wait for that. But I'm not going to because it doesn't feel scary enough. And whatever the guy said that we were talking to, we found the cylinder object. So let's pick it up. Codec. I got it. Doc, I got it. Everything. Me at the silo and don't stop for anyone. 
And this is another feature. You have to jump off a cliff using the latch. And I can't talk right now because I'm trying to focus. If you just fall off the thing like this, you would just... Oh, that was a close one. This happens, you die. And I'm gonna have to roll backwards. Right in the middle. And I made it. Safe and sound. How are you doing? Ugh. Looks like a bloodbath. Fine young soldiers, every one of them. General Mahad, sir. Where's Dr. Serrano? Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control! Now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. Ah, damn. And to think I made it alive. And what's he doing? Okay, so basically he took his own life as well. Turning into one of the Necros. And already we're in the present. Isaac, I know you're there. Come on, pick up the phone. Fine. Look, I just called to say I'm moving on. I have to. Just take care of yourself, okay? And Isaac is at the deep end. Or is he? Somebody's trying to look for him. You as a clerk? Get the fuck off me. Answer me! Tim? Who the hell are you? Lift him up. Up! have a lot of time, so I want to make this brief. I understand you're something of an expert on markers. You created one. I didn't make shit. Your government made me. And you destroyed two, which is why we're here. We got a job for you. No. No! I'm done with that. You find somebody else for your suicide mission. We did, before we lost contact with her. She told us to find you. Allie, where is she? What'd you do to her? Where is she? Unitologists have breached the inner concourse. We can't hold them! Captain, run out of time, gotta go! She's out there all alone, Isaac, and I can't help her unless you help me. Okay. Okay! Here. Let's get moving.
And this is the first chapter, Rude Awakening, in my apartment. There we go. So, yeah. This is my humble above. Or was. And it kind of looks like one of the scenery from Star Wars. Yeah. Let's see what this is. Recording. Playback. Message 33. Caller. Earthrise Apartment. This message is for the residents of Apartment 16. Your rent is past due. This is your final notice. Failure to pay in three days will result in eviction. So sue me. Well, I'm not going to be here anyway, so I'm out of here. Let me just read this. Another one of these EarthGov garbage. So the character we just met was, that just hit me, was one of the other character I can play as in the co-op. But why would I use this when I have the old trusty plasma cutter? I said I'd help you. Now, where's Ellie? How long has she been missing? Just shut up and get over here. We'll explain later. Well, that's rude. And I hear something. Doggy? Let me get this out of the way. Ooh, somebody's having a bad day. Alright, enough of this. Let's go follow these people that needs me. We killed Earth. Yeah. No, oh, that's the last time I'm going to be in this apartment. Red Moon. Oh, there they are. Brothers and sisters, the age of man. Hey, who the hell are you guys? Earth Gov's last battalion. Name's Norton. Captain Robert Norton. Sergeant John Carver. Last battalion? What do you mean? Last means last, genius, as in no more left. Looks clear. No more left. There's our right. Let's go. All right. Showtime. And now I'm gonna have to duck because you're facing human enemy now. I'm gonna have to go now. Alright, so I can focus right now. These guys are in over there. I'm gonna have to take you take them out. If I could see them actually. Let me try something. I'm gonna have to use my Plasma cutter. Huh. Just like a couple of pumpkins squashed. Wow. And to think I'm that good. Oh, I can I can roll too. I'll be. Sh oh, that fun. I wonder if I can shoot my thing. Stasis. I can. Messed up.
Come on, show yourself. Not that good. I'll just get some weapon from these guys. And there's a Sudas. These are unitologists. Why are they trying to kill us? You. They're trying to kill you. What? Just get out of there. Shut your trap. Son of a... I can't talk during these scenes, right? So that was a suicidal bomber. Let's just keep on going. Kamikaze. They're still following me. No doubt about it. All clear. Let me check my objective. I'm sure I don't have any map on this as well. Just like in the first game, last game. Why are these fanatics after me? You've destroyed markers in the past, Isaac. That makes you a direct threat to their plan. Plan? Some end time prophecy based on the markers. Convergence? Yeah, Ellie thinks you can stop it. So now she's missing and they followed you here? Yes, now get to the roof of the Dredger Corp building. There's an extraction team waiting. All right, new objective. Let's check it out. So one of the characters' name is Morton, all right? Norton, excuse me. Yeah, and I have these scavenger bot. I don't have it, actually. I'll just get those later. And you may notice that most of these stuff is replaced by resource. So you'll gather up garbage and create something with your stuff. So all the um, stuff in the previous game is gone. Replace with garbage. Oh, talking about this. And this thing is a bench. Just like any other bench, you can craft your weapon. Which is another thing, because you can or you can only carry but two weapons. But if you do some crafting, you can create something with each weapon you carry has two source all right let's go bastards Yeah, right back at you. Where is he? Up there. Ah, damn it. They're all over the place. These Unitologist soldiers are trying to fight off anyone who tries to destroy the marker. Or kill anyone who doesn't doesn't reply to them or help me. What just happened? Oh. Shit! I've hit the freeway. Then cross it. They're unmanned transports. They don't stop for anything. I've still got my stasis unit. I'll slow the traffic and get across. And what exactly are we going to do with the stasis unit? With these traffic? This. 
And I'm so going to Joe for this. Oops. Yeah, oops. Just like like my last video. Alright, let's see what this is. Earth Government Artifact. Let's see. Another one of these files. I'm just checking the other side just to see if there's an there's anything left. Nothing. Oh, that's a fancy title to say. Fancy title to say, Earth Government. Yeah. Pretty easy. Let me just go back and get their stuff. And I cannot slide down the ladder. Alright, so basically my speech is a bit off. Uh, I guess I can try better next time. These guys again. Let me go back down again to get more stuff from these guys. Another wild goose chase. I swear they dropped something, one of them. I guess not. Alright, let's go. More government sector. Ugh. Earth government, what I'm trying to say. Of course, I'm gonna have to switch my weapon once in a while. Oh boy. Message. 
I guess we've met the antagonist of this game, Danik. So this whole thing began well. Jordan, this isn't just a manhunt. It's systematic slaughter. Oh, you noticed. But why topple the government? Why EarthGov? Danik blames them for experimenting with the markers, thinks it's heresy. So you can imagine what they think of you. Have you reached the extraction site yet? I'm almost there. Alright, so as I was saying, the new villain is Danik. And this whole time, Isaac was living in the area where the marker was still around, close by. So I've been living a miserable life, trying to hide from these guys. But at least I made it out safe. I wonder if there's any upgrades for this or a store nearby. And that I mentioned there's no map in this either. This one's still alive. Bring him here. <laughs> Isaac Clark. Just the man I was looking for. Oh, don't waste your energy. You're going to be dead in a matter of minutes. Pick him up. There's something I'd like you to see. There. You see that? That's a marker test lab. They're everywhere at all the major colonies and outposts. What do you want from me? As part of the marker test program, Isaac, you help make them. And today, you of all people get to watch me set them free. No, no. You'll kill everyone. Death is only the beginning, Isaac. Nature must take its course, and I can't allow you or anyone else to stop that. Eyes forward, Isaac. Pay attention. And now it's time for you to join the cycle of rebirth. I don't think that's going to happen. So now this necromorph outbreak begins again. And luckily this pile of corpses saved my life. But not for long. These guys again. Oh shit. Oh shit indeed. And they can also do that. The fathers. That was a close one. And yes, dismemberment is the same thing, I know. So, this is another marker outbreak. There's nothing here for me, so I'm gonna have to get out of here, this planet. I just check around. Pile of bodies, save my land. <laughs> Better hurry up before things get real ugly. And already it began. Begins. 
You can tell these are slashers. All clear. These guys can't get through here, can't they? Gino. Simple hint, shoot their arms and legs. The right arm and left leg, doesn't matter which side. That'll get rid of them. That's Earth. Okay. I don't have time for that, so let's just move on. Not good. I forgot this is a thing. This guy over here. Really not good at this. I kind of feel glitchy and unpolished. Yeah, but that's what those bugs are for. To learn from their mistake, their development. Now let's not go there yet. All right, now we can go. Isaac, have you reached the extraction team yet? All dead. Dan, it got here first. Oh, fuck. Then find a way out of the city. I'm coming in with the Eudora. Washington Station's not far. I can ride one of the trains out. Good plan. See you on the tracks. So now we're going to have to go to the train station to get to the ship. Of course. And this is the Unitology artifact, similar to all the other texts. Let's see what it says. Or not. Danik. Course. More necromorphs. And I didn't make it, even though I roll. No luck. Hold up for a sec. Of course. I just left the static stasis thing, what I'm saying. Candy. Oh, it's that Rocket Boy character. I forgot what it's called.
Yeah. Boxing and stuff. Yeah, not me. Let's just move on. Does anyone listen to what those people say when something like this happened? Of course not. And these guys again. Gotta hurry up. This is getting hectic. <sighs> there we go. Gotta find some health before I die out. And I haven't even used my gun yet. Let me check something real quick. Oh, I had health already. Let's see what's playing. Tools of Terror. And... that stuff. Better hurry up though. Didn't make it. So there's nothing left here for us. Almost out of the train. And there it is. No trains. Okay. I made it to the train station. What about Danik's men? I lost them in the panic. This outbreak may buy us some time. Well, grab a train. Let's go. No good. Looks like the train was getting refitted with a new power car. So? I'm gonna have to put it back together. We'll do it fast. Danik's gunships are far off. We'll try to draw them away then. Be fast. So it looks like we're gonna have to assemble the train things by using our kinesis. Simple. Oh, that thought. Because I just missed out some of the lockers here. All right, now let's do this. Ah, uh, this way. No, oh, I just gotta push it the other way. This direction. Push it all the way this direction. That's what I was doing, man. And I better hurry up. Because this isn't going to be pretty if 
this Danic character finds me. All right, it looks like I'm done. All right, Norton. The train's hooked up and ready to head out the south gate. You can't miss it. It'll be the only thing moving. All right, understood. I'll close in once you clear the city. Be ready for pickup. This is going to be tricky. And there's Denix men. So time to go inside. Made it. You still haven't told me what happened to Ellie. Now it's not the best time I did. Is she alive? Last I saw her was a keyhole station. She said she was on to something big, shocked out to some secret coordinates, and then we lost contact. I know your ex-girlfriend very well. She's still alive, and mad as hell we haven't found her yet. Well, that's nice to hear. Ellie is still alive. But it's not nice for this to happen. So let's just have this action sequence. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to go over there as quick as we can before we get gunned. Right back at you, hold up. Payback, baby. One of the achievements. I should have just got that. Better hurry up too. Hurry up, we can't hold them off forever. Say bye bye. All right. This must be the last train thing and it's already open so let's just get in quickly made it And that's Carter, that Norman was with not too long ago. Who's that? A boy. Cute kid. You leave him behind? He's dead. Danik killed him. And his mother. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't be. We're not friends. Well, thanks for the rescue back there. Try harder next time. Guard, find a good weekend. Yeah. Good, we're almost there. Get your asses to the bridge. You heard the man. And this is chapter two, on your own. Of course, I'm gonna have to meet Carter, but fortunately, I'm gonna have to end this video. Sorry for the lack of comments and all that. I'll try better next time. And this is completely different because this doesn't have a safe system because it's audio safe. So yeah, that's a downer. 
Also, this character here is Carter, one of the characters you play besides Isaac in the co-op. But we'll get to that in the next video. So, thank you for watching this. And like always, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below if there's anything that you find entertaining. So, until then, I will see you again in the next video.